everyone, it's Sarah here from the marketing team at Cheshire College South and West. Welcome back to another episode of the, lo- the Lowdown This Lockdown, where I'm joined by two of our full-time learners, um, Emily and Katie. Um, Emily, would you mind introducing yourself and telling us a bit about, more about your programme and we'll move on to you, Katie. So I'm Emily, I'm on the Level 2 Travel and Tourism course here at the college and we've done some really good units to start off this crazy year. So we've done a couple of units on customer service and why that's important in industry and how to make the most out of your sales. And we've also done a worldwide destinations unit looking at different destinations and events in the UK, Europe and the world. Amazing. And Katie, you study um, travel and tourism too? Yeah, on the same level actually. So a couple, of, a few of the units we have actually studied so far is we are actually going to be moving on to a unit tomorrow about responsible tourism and that is something that I'm personally quite passionate about because in my opinion, when you go away, you need to go away and actually get a real taste of the destination on where you're going and the only way you actually do that is actually by supporting the local businesses that are out there so I really enjoy going to all these like different locally run cafes they always end up having a nice chat with the staff that are there Uh, we've done a unit on customer service and selling skills mainly focusing on selling skills point of view and we've done a few role plays like pretending to book holidays and we, we're currently doing a travel planning program which is making me feel very jealous about <laughs> seeing all these different places and thinking oh I wish I could go away to them places so we do, we're doing one of them types of units at the moment and we're at, I'm actually planning a holiday to Jamaica as part of my unit. Amazing and is that something you're dreaming somewhere you're dreaming of going once obviously we're able to travel again I mean it must be a strange time for you guys in particular studying travel and tourism but very much an interesting time as well to see how the landscape's changing I mean we, we really wanted to go on a trip to America we're, well we're going to America at some point this year and because we didn't get away last year um, we really wanted to maybe extend our stay there to do a bit of a road trip around the mid around the Midwest region of America. Amazing. And so has travel been something um you've both been passionate about, Emily and Katie, since Yeah. Yeah. I mean I've been wanting because when I leave college I want to be cabin crew for a major international airline, mainly doing long call flights. And I've been wanting to be cabin crew since I was at least twelve years of age. We're actually on a flight back from Alicante to Manchester and I just thought I've had all these other career like goals that I want to achieve but something about cabin crew just feels right to me and I don't want to be in one of them like nine to five office jobs because that's not something that I particularly want to do with my life. I want to go and see the whole world and visit a hundred countries by the age of 30 like that's one of my goals amazing what a bucket list to have <laughs> and I guess you kind of started to answer my next question which was why did you choose this course and um, why did you choose this course I guess and Cheshire College in particular to study it was there anything that stood out to you and um, that we offered I mean definitely like at the time we were moving to Cheshire from Lancashire because that's like where I'm originally from and I was looking at colleges in the area and I was having a look at people's like testimonials really about how they viewed the college and I thought this seems like such a really good college to apply to so I applied I um, got an interview with Kerry one of the tutors and I was offered a provisional offer here and I originally got onto the level one program, but I did apply for level two two years ago, but I didn't get the grades that I needed. But I think level one definitely gave me the building blocks I needed to enhance my knowledge for level two. And 
now that means I can help my classmates out a lot more and if they need any help with anything because I have the background knowledge. Fantastic and Katie what about yourself? I think the reason that I want to, well I chose Cheshire College is the same reason as Emily. Um, I'd moved from Burnley and we just moved down to to Chester and I just fell in love with the college straight away. As soon as I was like, because I'm not originally from the area, I was driving up the road and I was just like, oh my God, is that where I'm going to be studying in just a few months time? But honestly, it it made me, it was like a bit of sweet feeling because I'd be leaving my friends that I've known for 10, 12 years to come here and virtual, virtually no, not know anyone. And I've got to have a similar experience to Emily. We both started on the, on the level one program. We study together, <laughs> don't we, Katie? Yeah, we're <laughs> glued at the hip. We're <laughs> sick as thieves, but honestly, it's the college is amazing. The staff are amazing. Shout out to the travel tutors, by the way. <laughs> honestly, they, they support us no matter what. They support you with your course, but they also support you with emotional stuff as well. But having that because in my opinion i think it's quite important for the tutors not just to feel like your tutors it's you've you've sort of got to see them as your friends in a way because then you find it easier to go and open up to them about mental health issues and that which i am proud of the college like they take mental health in my opinion i think they take it really seriously and that's something that i am extremely grateful for and just there's another reason why Cheshire College really did appeal to me is that it just seemed like such a professional, like almost like workplace sort of thing and like makes you want to concentrate more because it feels like you're in that workplace setting instead of just in a school and, you know, calling your teachers, miss and so like for me that is not what I want to do for my, my further education. And I know, um with travel and tourism you have to wear uniforms don't you depending on which courses so does that kind of help you get more into that setting as well and you put in your yeah. cabin crew uniform on and yeah. you know that you're there and you're there to do a job Definitely. yeah because i um i really wanted to work for etihad airways when i was originally going into the college but i just thought i want to maybe go and live in america because America is a place where I really want to live. I really want to, I'd, I'd love to eventually gain citizenship there. So I'd love to maybe work for a few airlines out there just to get to know the people there, what they're like, and then eventually reside in America full time and potentially work for American Airlines or Delta. Delta's an amazing airline in America. So just by being cabin crew there, hopefully it'll help me gain citizenship there because I really want to go out into the world, help people, because that is a passion of mine, is just helping people. Because even if you just walk past someone on the street and you just say hi, that can really help them. So that's really why I want to do travel and tourism because I love being kind to people, I love helping people and I love just embracing other cultures. Fantastic and so in terms of your college experience what new skills would you say you've learned that's going to enable you to go out there and reach your career goals I guess? I've definitely learned how to deliver public speaking a lot better because before I came to the college I was such a that girl didn't want to participate in any class events or class activities and it feels like just you've just waved a magic wand and now I'm confident enough to speak in public and that has helped me with the role plays we've done like we did a resort rep unit as well and in that you have to do a welcome meeting a transfer and a transfer speech and I was like, oh God, I don't want to do this. But I stood up, was pr I was proud of myself and stood up and just aced it really. Because 
that's all you can do really is just wing it when you go up there and I feel like that's one thing I've learned to do is not read from a script but make bullet, mental bullet point notes and just put them into practice. I think I've also learned better teamwork skills like but I feel like I'm the more leader in the in the little group work activities but I'm that person who doesn't just take over I pass things on to each person so they can have a go at doing something themselves to just to like give them a little bit of independent study but also it's helping me learn how to delegate tasks to others your leadership my confidence as well has definitely gone up because I used to be rubbish at holding a conversation and starting a conversation. Now I can do both, which is really good. Fantastic. And what about yourself, Katie? I think um, the skills that I've developed at the college is, um, have, is really the public speaking side of things because I was I just didn't like to do anything in public, but I think it's sort of helped me with, um, with helping out at open events throughout the year when I was there my first year and when I was doing the open events I was getting I was interacting with prospective learners which I would have never have done before before joining the college and I think having the help of the tutors there as well really helps and confidence has massively gone up since being at the college because I would just be that girl that was just sat at the back of the class with a head You're a bit down. like me, weren't you? Yeah, I was very much like you were, and I was, just didn't like to interact at all with anyone. And I was just like, I just had my head under the under the desk or on the desk, just not wanting to be seen. But I think being around tutors who enable me and empower me to to improve those skills definitely do help and leadership skills have gone up because Kerry said to me because you're a natural born leader Katie um, a good leader de delegates tasks out and makes everyone else feel included so I think that is one thing I've learned since being back is it's all well and good saying oh I'm a good leader but you need to be a good leader in terms of delegating the tasks to others yeah Definitely. Well, it's fantastic. It's fantastic to hear, like you say, that your tutors empowering you and pushing you to be your best because that's what it's all about, isn't it, at the college? And that's what we are encouraging all of our learners to do. Do you have any standout moments of your college life so far that you'll think back to in 10, 15 years time when you're flying over the world and kind of remember fondly? Yeah, and definitely. You have the 2019 learner awards when I walked on that stage and collected my student ambassador of the year 2018 to 19 award that for me is something that I'll remember for the rest of my life and something that I can actually put down on my CV and show to these airlines I will be good and I will be the creme de la creme of what you need in a cabin crew member pretty much the face of our brand, which I think is super important. An amazing achievement. And what about yourself, Katie? Well, Emily and I actually both won the double award for the um, Student Ambassador of the Year. And yeah. I honestly loved that. I loved that night so, so much. Because I was just like, because I helped out at around five, five out of six open evenings that the college hosted. So I was just, because the tutors would be like, is there anyone willing to help out at the event? And I was just like, well, I've got nothing on. I may as well just just get here and just help out because I just really, really wanted to improve my skills and especially improve my confidence in terms of like being in public. So definitely helping out at those sort of events have made me the person I am today. That it's made me confident to say hi to strangers. So that's definitely helped. And the food on the night was absolutely amazing because the hospitality students did some of the best food I've ever tasted. So honestly, that was a really, really good night. A night that I'll never forget. Fantastic. That's what we like to hear. And that's what it's, all, that's what it's about. And we do these awards. It's celebrating the success of you and seeing how far you've come. So that's brilliant. Um, 
in terms of obviously we're in lockdown at the moment and this isn't the first lockdown you've um, experienced whilst being at college how are you finding remote learning this time round? I think it, I think I've definitely learned a lot from it. I mean, I'm so, I'm so grateful for Teams because I feel like it keeps me connected to my classmates as well because there's just so much distance between us all at the moment. And even if it's just two days a week that I get to come onto my laptop, see my class, and have a nice chat with them, and I feel like it just gives me a sense of community with everyone. And I've got to stress this enough that I feel that still the resources that the tutors provide for us is still just the same highest standard as if we're in the classroom at the college. Because I think, it, and it also must be difficult for them also like juggling, like looking after their children at home and obviously planning lessons for us as well. So got to say my hats off to them all really, not just the travel and tourism tutors, but like the PDTs and even the other course tutors who obviously have to juggle a lot more. Definitely do not get the same experience as you do in the classroom. You need face-to-face -face interaction. And I think um, the teachers need to be massively appreciated at that college because as Emily said, they're looking after children, they've got the, the kids to make sure they've, they've got the lunch and everything. So I think it's extremely important that we, but just by having that respect, by turning up on time to your lessons, just making it all worthwhile for them as well, because they're at home looking after the children. And so, it, so I just think that the hats off to the tutors for juggling all of that. Then there should be a teacher appreciation day when we get back. <laughs> a massive party for the tutors. And have you learned anything about yourselves whilst um, learning from home, whether it's um, you're more focused at home or having that? Is there anything in particular you thought, actually, this it's, is worked for me or you've learned something new about yourself? It's not that, um, this isn't anything to do with be working from home, but I think I've learned just to be myself at, at the college because I've just because I felt like oh I'm moving from a new area to here I'm gonna have to change myself to fit in but honestly the most important thing I've done is just to be myself and and I'm and I'll never regret being myself no that's the most important thing you can be as well isn't it it's your true authentic and also I think I've learned about myself during all this like learning and from home is that I still have the motivation to get out of bed in the morning because I thought, oh my God, I'm missing all my classes because I'll still be in bed sleeping. But, And I think for some advice for people who are working from home is um, just get ready as if you were going to college in the morning, but obviously don't get in your uniform. So I think that's, you know, taking it a little bit too far, but just maybe just get some jeans of the smart top and maybe just find a space in your house as well where you can just focus and study all the time so, so like let's say I'm sat at my kitchen table right now and this is where I've been doing pretty much all of my remote learning so and it just helps me focus a lot more to keep on track with my studying and also doing my teams calls as well fantastic it's having that consistency like you said I've been doing that uh, well uh, um, for my remote learning I have a basket filled with all of my equipment to just then I've got all my equipment there and then I'm not rushing around saying, oh, I've not got a pen, mum, where's there a pen, dad, where's there a pen? So I've got this basket filled with everything for my remote learning, which has really, really helped me stay organised. And I've always set a date, because I'm not at college, I've made sure I've got a dedicated day to get any assessments or assignments done that need doing for my course, which has really, really helped. And also just, and I just think having those virtual calls once a week make me feel like there are people out there that do care about me and that do appreciate me. And, and last week I had one of my class members um, message me just asking for help. And, and that just makes me feel extremely valued, like my knowledge is valued and, and just that I'm valued in my course. 
brilliant. There's some great tips as well that I think a lot of people, no matter what course you're on, can really find useful. Having a specific setup, getting up as if you're going to be coming to college, having that basket is really handy. It's almost like having your bag up which you would be taken to college anyway, so that's brilliant. In terms of new prospective um, learners looking to maybe come to the college and study travel and tourism, obviously during this time they're unable to come on site, but would you have any um, tips for them or any advice if they are looking what they should do, if they should reach out to tutors or anything um, to kind of help them? So I would say oh. if you know what you, want to do chase after you go you have but you have to work hard for what you want to do in order to get the best end result and if your goal is that you want to go into the travel and tourism industry you're you're in good hands at the college because tutors do have the experience from being in the industry themselves which i think is a godsend because i think you do need that priceless information and things to be able to get these jobs that are out there and if you want to reach out to the tutors that you could just maybe email them or something like that and just ask them about some course information that you would like to know or maybe have a look at the course overview at the start of the year or if you're looking for applying but maybe what future leaders could do if they do come to the college and don't know what to do is just sit in different lessons and just see what they're like and if they like if they like the lesson content and things Fantastic. And Katie, any words of wisdom from yourself? So again, like I've got to say, um, when you when you do do travel and tourism, you've got a former travel agent who will help you out with the more retail side of things, and which help. And, and my tutor Kerry is great at teaching selling skills, and she teaches you the whole sales process. And then, because in the travel and tourism industry, the more sales you make, the more the more money you get from it and you've got a former cabin crew member there who helps you with the drills in the aircraft how to deliver a, an outstanding tea and coffee service as well and she also teaches you like how important safety is on an aircraft and we have a former re resort representative who has some cracking stories of what it's like to be a resort representative and she has said that there have been quite a lot of sights she's seen whilst being a resort representative but my but my main advice is again just be yourself on your course because there's nothing worse than changing yourself to please other people you are you you are your own gem so make sure that you just be yourself don't feel the need like you have to be intimidated by others to to get fitting in at the college because because at the end of the day that college will love you for you and that's one of my favorite sayings never um, you be you don't be anyone else because worse it's worse to fit in a crowd than it's, it's worse to fit in a crowd and it's better to stand out as well fantastic lovely advice and my last question and i'll leave it up to you who decides to go first but if you had to um just sum up your college experience at Cheshire College South and West in three words, what would they be? Happy place, confidence and friendships. Fantastic, Emily. Um, fun, amazing and awesome. Brilliant. Lovely words that we like to hear. Well, thank you very much, girls, and um, for taking the time out to speak to us today. We really appreciate it. And I think you've said some really helpful things that were going to help not just current learners, um, but prospective learners as well. Some fantastic advice there. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Sarah. you very much, Sarah.